Now that we've gone into the network types and models, let's look into some of the components involved. There are two types of networks. There are that networks are categorized into two types. One is wired, one is wireless. Wired networks, as we uh, are, use cables to form the connections between the network devices. The network cabling transfers the data between switches, router, routers, routers, computers, and storage areas by transferring data through cables. Uh, so the networks cable so types of networks cables included are unshielded twisted pair UTP, shielded twisted pair STP, coaxial cable and fiber optic cable. Unshielded twisted pair cables mainly use are used as ethernet cables and can send data and audio signals. Uh, the, the features, the, these feature an outer casing that protects the cable from damage. The benefits of UTP are that it is a fle flexible cable making it easy to manage and it costs less than other cables and it is a cable that is probably the most compatible with other devices. Uh, the drawbacks are that due to the the specifications for a number of twists per cable meter uh, to reduce crosstalk, it can only be used up to 100 meters. Uh, furthermore, the bandwidth for, for these cables is limited and the distance between the signal boost is shorter uh, than other cables, making it less able to carry a signal for longer distances. Finally, the cable is unable to provide secure data transmission and is highly prone to external interference like EMI and RFI and even noise. Shielded twisted pair air cabling is mainly used in business installation. It controls outside interference by encasing pairs of wireless and uh, sorry. It controls outside interference by encasing pairs of wires in copper in copper from the inside and a plastic from the outside. The benefits are that are many are similar to UTP, however the shielding offers better protection for from interference and is easier to to terminate with a mo modular connector. Uh, the drawbacks are that it is not as fle flexible, being very being thicker. Uh, it is not as easy to maintain. It costs more. It is a bit more difficult to install, and it must be grounded. Otherwise, it can act as an antenna and pick up unwanted signals. Coaxial cable is made of copper of a copper cable protected with a metal insulation and plastic covers. 
is made to block signal interference, which is helpful for TV companies to connect their satellites for, cu for customers' uh, devices. Axel K cable are that they and due to their cover they have have a high frequency for applications in addition they cost cost less than other cables uh, they allow for high transfer rates it is uh, they are less susceptible to interference and they support a high bandwidth and are actually quite flexible. The drawbacks are that they are quite cumbersome, are co costly to install for long distances. If the cable goes down, so does the network, as they have to be a si single line across the network. Uh, it is quite easy to tap into a to a coaxial cable by breaking into it and inserting a T-joint, uh, and it must be grounded to prevent interference. Fiber optics connect networks, can connect networks between buildings. They do not carry electrical signals, but transmit light, removing el the electrical barrier problems. Surrounding a glass, a central glass core are several layers of protective materials. The benefits of fiber optics are that they have a higher bandwidth, there is a less power, power loss through the electricity, uh, they have a further data transmission, uh, they are resistant to interference, in installing is quite it is quite physically easy due to the fact they're quite lightweight. They are very secure transmitting data and are cheaper than than others. Uh, and they can also and as light is the fastest speed in the universe, it is faster to transmit with fiber. The drawbacks of fiber optics are that these cables are challenging to merge and so there can be beam loss within the cable. Uh, they also require special equipment to install and, marriage, and manage which can can increase costs. Uh, they are also very vulnerable when, when fitting. Routers connect computers and servers to send and receive data through packets. Uh, they then connect to other routers around the globe and send that data from one network to the other calculating the most efficient route. They analyze the packet's IP address, which, which tell it where, where it is from and their destination. They then look the destination up and route the packet, packet to, that, to the destination. If the destination does not appear, they send it to a default router that can send it to its destination or drop the packet and request it again. The benefit of routers are that they are able to utilize different clients at once. They also can reduce the traffic and can coordinate the with mo modems to guarantee a wireless connection, wireless access point, sorry. The drawbacks are that unlike repeaters and scaffolders, routers analyze all the data from the phys physical to the network layer, uh, resulting in a slower connection. 
they are more costly than some other system administration devices and they can be unreliable when utilizing a 2.4 gigahertz range causing that which can cause them to disconnect they are also quite complicated to set up and can result in bandwidth shortages NIC net what a network interface card, also known as either Ethernet card or network adap adapter, are uh, can uh, they get, can give the computer access to network connectivity. Uh, different types of network cards involve wireless, wired, USB, and fiber. Critical components of NIC are memory, connectors, processor, jumpers, routers, and MAC address. The benefits of, of network interface cards are that they are able to share large amounts of data the web, at a fast web speed, often as high as gigabytes, uh, multiple peripheral devices can be linked using many ports of, uh, of network inter interface cards. Uh, data can be divided between multiple clients. Uh, yeah, and data can be divided between multiple clients. The drawbacks of network interface cards are that they are not great for a wired link, so they have to be a, a wireless connection. Uh, there, and if the arrangement is not exact, then proper communication will deteriorate. deteriorate. They're also not as secure as the card can be physically tampered with. Network switches take frames sent from nodes through connections from their ports and deliver them to their intended destinations by switching Ethernet frames to the correct MAC address. Furthermore, if a switch receives a frame to a MAC address it does not recognize, it floods all the ports until it gets a response. It will then then put the MAC address into the table and forward the frames more quickly. Hardware firewalls uh, are physical node mo that monitors traffic entering the ports uh, for both firewall sides. Uh, it acts similarly to a software installed firewall on an operating system, but offers other benefits like it does not take up system resources as it is external. It is more straightforward to, to manage as it is a single device with multiple nodes connected rather than individual settings for each system. It is more, more secure as unlike net, unlike software, it monitors data before entering a system rather than after. Now we will go in more into network types. A, a personal network area network, otherwise known as PAN, is used to connect personal devices in implementing Bluetooth and USB links. These connect to devices is it themselves and they do not need to access a the access to the router and or areas of the broad network. Some examples of 
can include a keyboard, mouse, printer, or wireless headphones. Storage area networks then are a specific network that allows connected systems quick access to the network connected and storage systems. This is widely used in businesses, allowing more accessible collaboration and mass storage. A central storage location can be more secure as it all allows more more accessible backups there than if all connected devices manage their storage and modifications individually. Local area networks uh, connect all, all nodes to a central device. La LANs can also connect to one but all tra traffic travels through the central device. For example, or of LAN, LAN, an example of LAN is, is a home network that almost always uses LAN. A wide area network uh, can be used to connect offices, data centuries, cloud storage, and other applications. What reaches a single building or large campus to include multiple locations spread across a specific geographic area or even the world? Metropolitan area networks are a server within an area that is a hub for many different lands. This is smaller than one, as instead of being a web of different lands, it, it, all lands are connected to one server and communicate that way. Why? Why is this networks? Wireless networks use Wi-Fi signals to connect to nodes with frequencies in 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wave bands. Each node connects to the wireless access point with a transceiver. Many different devices such as Laptops, smartphones, TVs, consoles, and secured cameras can connect to the network. As a result, they are prevalent in ho home schools and many organizations that like the freedom of movement. The benefits of wireless networks are that nodes are installed smoothly without interruption to the network. Users can move around freely and stay stay connected. The drawbacks are that Wi-Fi signals can be limited in range, usually the most at 15, 50 meters. In addition, other devices, structures and signals can, can interfere with the signals. Uh, also, each wireless access point only has so much bandwidth to share uh, among connected nodes. So the more nodes connected, the less bandwidth each receives and the slower the communication becomes. Finally, Wi-Fi signals pose a security risk as unauthorized users can intercept them, uh, though this can be overcome by with encrypted messages. Finally, this is a, a reference to all the resources I use for my presentation. This is the end. end. Thank you very much for listening.